Well, I talked a bit about why global markets were important to us, um, mainly from an addressable market point of view. I've also talked about why I believe that expanding to emerging markets in particular is a very logical strategy for, for Indian businesses. In fact, I think more and more funders are looking for Indian businesses that can scale beyond India so that the market size becomes very big. And the, the good thing is that the core aspects of a business from product down to business model, if you can get it right in India, then it's very transferable to other emerging markets. So using that, what are some of the things that we did to make it easy to expand to global markets? Well, it's pretty straightforward. I think number one, there's a lot of basics in how do you internationalize and globalize a product. Uh, the key decision for an entrepreneur is how do you, when do you do it? Um, you don't want to go too far down the path with a product that's focused on India before globalizing it because there's a huge amount of rework that's going to be required, uh, especially if you know that it's core to your strategy. But you also don't want to do it too early because at the end of the day, you shouldn't be wasting your time on a huge macro level, high level strategy without getting the core product out and into the market quickly. So it's a tough balance. Um, we did it pretty quickly, mainly because I think a lot of these issues have been solved. Whereas you know, localization and globalization was a lot of effort back five, 10 years ago. It's gotten much easier. I think there's basic best practices that engineering teams will use to make that migration either easy or not necessary because you're doing basic things from day one. So the first piece of feedback is figure out when to globalize the product, what's required. Uh, in the payments world, the core platform and applications are pretty transferable. We had that done pretty early. When we enter a market, we do have to be selective about what banks we integrate into. So uh, understand what's scalable and what actually is going to be kind of market specific. So again, in our industry, the platform and mobile application and device were scalable across countries. Each market required us to integrate to specific banks and payment systems. And as a result, um, we were very careful about the number of markets and we went after strong partners, uh, but not a lot, but one, usually basically one partner per market so we could focus our energies on whatever markets we wanted. So we were very selective about markets and partners. In terms of business, um, again, we looked at partnerships um, because either global partnerships who could take us quickly within their, within their company to other markets or um, local partners who are very, very strong so they could actually ramp up the business without us having to invest in local business development, sales and, and product management.